Channel 2 Action News has learned state regulators are investigating a local car dealer in the resale of several cars once considered lemons. New at 5, Channel 2's consumer investigator Jim Strickland heard complaints from customers and then got the dealer one-on-one. -on -one. Jim? Jovita, at some point these cars were lemons, but now Southtown Motors and Noonan simply calls them bargains. The dealership told me all about these cars. The question is, what did they tell customers? That's the issue. Do you feel deceived? Absolutely. Knowing what you know now, how do you feel about what you pay? Kind of feel a little ripped off. They didn't explain anything to me at all when I was down there. These buyers told me they had no idea their used car purchased from Southtown Motors was a former lemon. Michael Flynn is a consumer attorney. I have spoken personally to 36 consumers who bought lemon cars from this car dealer that did not know that they bought a lemon. And yet each buyer signed the Georgia Lemon Law notice form, acknowledging they were fully aware the car once had a defect and that the car maker took it back. The customers say they got duped at the document table. The documents were all in a stack and we just went one by one and, and started signing. There's no doubt you signed it, but you had no clue that you did. No, no clue at all. Flynn says there's a name for it, the five finger fold, in which a customer sees only the signature line and never gets to read for real. This is your bill of sale signed here. This is your as is statement signed here. It makes me mad. The dealer is none too pleased with Flynn's accusations. By making these cases, calling us liars, cheats, thieves, we're none of those things. Southtown owner Hal Phillipson showed me buyers don't just sign one form, they sign several, disclosing the car's lemon lineage. We are 100% sure that we disclose everything we need to to these customers. The dealer has started using big lemon yellow stickers as another layer of transparency. The stickers weren't here when the people who talked to me bought their cars. This Corvette, branded for a faulty dashboard light, will sell for $20,000 off. It's not a lemon. Flynn has sued Southtown three times. A judge has ruled for the dealership twice. A third suit is pending. Avanti Helton is involved in it. The Corvette he bought for more than $40,000 appraised at CarMax for less than half. They just took $20,000 from me. Phillipson vows to buy back any of his former lemons at what he calls a fair market price. We love these cars. We think they're great value. We think they fill a terrific niche, and we'd love to have them back. State regulators could not release to me every document I wanted for this story, acknowledging some of them relate to an ongoing investigation of the dealership. The state says they're investigating. What do you say about that? They're doing what they're supposed to do, investigating. And I, we know that we've done everything right, and they won't find any fault. Now, the state's Office of Consumer Protection will not comment about its investigation. Phillipson told me he sold between 500 and 1,000 of these manufacturer buyback cars over the last 10 years or so. Many of these cars come from California and Florida, where the lemon law is such that only a minor problem will get the car branded. Mr. Flynn says his lawsuits that he's lost, he's going to send them to appeal. Reporting live in Coweta County, Noonan, Jim Strickland, Channel 2 Action News. And Jim, so what about the buyers, the consumers in your story and anyone who may go to Southtown? What could they and what should they do differently? Well, anyone who goes to any dealership, Jovita, really, you know, there's a lot of paperwork involved in buying a car. You have to sign a lot of forms, and no one really wants to read every word on every page. So Mr. Flynn says at least look at the top of the form. This is the Georgia Lemon Law notice. It says Lemon Law right on here. It would be hard to say you didn't know what this deal was about if, in fact, this form was in the paperwork, Jovita. And when in doubt, ask Jim. Thank you.